I'm so glad I'm not Monica right now. Oh, tell me about it. So what's what's your magic number? Oh. Come on, you know everyone I've been with, all both of them. Well, <clears throat> there's you. Better not be doing these in order. Okay, uh, Billy Dreskin, Pete Carney, oh. Barry, and uh, oh, uh, Paolo. Oh uh, yes, the weenie from Torini. Oh, honey, are you jealous of Paolo? Mm. Oh, come on, I'm so much happier with you than I ever was with him. Really? Oh, please. That Paolo thing was barely a relationship. All it really was was just, you know, meaningless animal sex. <laughs> okay, you know, that sounded so much better in my head. <laughs> oh, Ross. Ross, please listen to me. Ross, you are so much better for me than Paolo ever was. I mean, you care about me. You're loving. You make me laugh. Oh, hey, if I make you laugh... Here's an idea. Why don't you invite Paula over to have a little romp in the sack and I'll just stand in the corner and tell Knock Knock Jokes. Yes! Ah! Oh! Ross! Look, what you and I have is special. All Paula and I ever had was... Animal sex? Animal sex? <laughs> so what are you saying? I mean, you're saying that, like, there's nothing between us animal at all? I mean, there's not even, like, um, a little animal? Not even, <laughs> not even like, like... Chipmunk sex? Okay, Ross, try to hear me, okay? I, hey, I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? It was good with Paolo. Knock, knock. But... <laughs> what you and I have is so much better, okay? We have tenderness, we have intimacy, we connect. You know, I swear, this is the best I have ever had. Until now. <laughs> okay. What the hell happened back there? I don't know. You tell me. One minute I'm holding Ben like a football, the next thing I know I've got two kids, I'm living in Scarsdale complaining about the taxes. Well, I'm sorry. I think about stuff, you know? I mean, you're at work, you're assembling bones, your mind wanders. Ross, you have planned out the next 20 years of our lives. We've been dating for six weeks. Oh, come on. What, you never think about our future? Yes, but I, I think about whose apartment we're going to sleep at tomorrow night and, and where we're going to have dinner next Saturday night. I do not think about what our children's names are going to be. You know what our children's names are going to be. <laughs> no, no. I mean, you know, I, I read a book and there was a girl named Emily and I thought, I thought that might be good. What was the book? The big book of children's name. Okay, Ross, Ross, okay, listen. What we have is amazing. Yeah. But I do not want to have everything decided for me. I spent my whole life like that. I, it's what I had with Barry. That was one of the reasons I left. I, I like not knowing right now. And I'm sorry if that scares you, but if you want to be with me, you're going to have to deal with that. Okay, fine. Thank you. We're not done. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, then you're going to have to understand that you're with a guy who's not going to stop planning his future with you because he knows we're going to end up together. And if that scares you, tough, because you're going to have to deal with that. Fine, I will. Good, because I love you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I love you, too. Well, that's the first time we've said that. Yes, it is. Well, I'm going to kiss you. Well, you better. 